previously on the Great Australian Spelling Bee. <laughs> it was a scientific spell-off. Kilohertz. That is correct. That led to Marco and Grace winning immunity. You have done it. Straight through to the finals. Tonight, finals week is just around the corner. The stakes are getting higher and the spelling is getting harder. But a crack's starting to appear. Mischief. Incorrect. Garrison. Can you please repeat the word? Something is going on here. The pressure really gets to you. The heat has been turned up. Oh, and it's twin versus twin. Me and my brother have never played against each other before. Who will win the battle? Twin rivalry is at stake here. <gasps> Who will say goodbye? Pandemonium. Incorrect. And who will make it to the finals? Let's bring it on. Come on in, gang. I want to be the champion of the Great Australian Spell and Bee. I know that I can win this. I think it's in me. It's in me to have gotten this far. Good to see you. Great to have you back. Every day there are less of you. <laughs> and that means only one thing. We are getting very, very close to discovering who will be the Great Australian Spelling Bee Champion for 2015. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How exciting is that? Awesome. Now, there's only 10 of you spelling today because Marco and Grace spelt their way to immunity yesterday. They're backstage and they don't have to spell at all. At the end of today, sadly, four of you will be leaving the Great Australian Spelling Bee. The stakes are getting higher and the spelling is getting harder. Now, spellers, as always, we're joined by the Great Australian Spelling Bee's official pronouncer, Mr Chris Edmund. <laughs> <laughs> All right, spellers, time to get spelling. Come with me. Good luck. OK, spellers, it's the spell gate, which means the first challenge is speed spell. You'll have 45 seconds to spell as many words correctly as you can. We've seen some great spelling in this challenge, but it's getting more and more competitive. Today, we're only looking for the top two spellers. If you're one of them, you're safe and straight through to finals week. If you're not, you could be going home. It's going to be really tough to get into the top two because we're all amazing spellers. We've all worked so hard to get here. Carl's really good at it. Oh, Peter's really good at it. Amanda. Thank you for mentioning my name, sir. Carl, you're up first. <laughs> you love this challenge for a very good reason. Ten correct words last time. Yep, I'm hoping I can get at least more than ten this time. Would you like to be the king of speed spell? Yep. Please step inside. I'm really thinking that I need to get 11 words this time, just to make sure I get into the top two. Let's spell. The word is... Mischief. Mischief. M-I-S-C-H. I That is incorrect. Mainly because of the pressure. Carl gets mischief wrong, and then I, I, know, I know that something's really out of place. The correct spelling is M I S C H I E F, mischief. You know what? There's more challenges to come, Carl. I don't want you to give up. There's more room for you in this competition, yeah. okay? Take a seat. <laughs> to being the king. Hapita, your turn. I just really want to get to the top two. I've just worked so hard, I want to get into finals. Let's spell. Pronounce her. Negative. Negative. N-E-G-A-T-I-V-E. -E. Negative. Bitterly. Bitterly. B-I-T-T-E-R-L-Y. Bitterly. Garrison. Could you please repeat the word? Garrison. Garrison. G A R R A S O N. Garrison. Oh my god, that's wrong. That is incorrect. The correct spelling is 
G-A-R-R-I-S-O-N, Garrison. OK, a little bit of a tough run. Let's have a look at the leaderboard, huh, Peter? Two correct words at this stage, but as you know, more challenges to come. Take a seat, thank you. It's just my name with the G at the start. I know. The word is penitent. Penitent. P-E-N-I-T-A-N-T. -E penitent. That is incorrect. Oh, it's E-N-T, isn't The correct it? spelling is P-E-N-I-T-E-N-T. -E -E A lot of people are tripping up on easy words. Amanda, four correct words. I'm really wondering what's happening here. That is incorrect. Amelia, one correct word. I just think it was really the nerves that was getting to even the best spellers. Incorrect. Grace, two correct words. They were just making little simple mistakes. Any root. One correct word. A piece. That's three correct words. You're in second place right now. We're looking for the top two. This is so surprising. All the people usually do really well. Just... So, this is such a tough challenge, isn't it? The standard and the words have jumped quite a significant level. Harrison, you're next. Highest is four. So I know something is going on here that really isn't that great. I have no idea what's happening today. There just there is a broken rhythm in yeah, here, isn't there? I think I think there's a jinx somewhere. Please step into the spell game. <laughs> Pronouncer, the first word. Probable. Probable. P R O B A B L E. Probable. Separate. Separate. S E P A R A T E. Separate. Omnivore. Omnivore. O M N I V O R E. Omnivore. Wow. Junction. Junction. J U N C T I O N. Junction. Democrat. Democrat. D E M O C R A T. Democrat. Squirrel. Squirrel. S Q U I R R E L. Squirrel. Diabolic. Diabolic. D I A B O L I C. Diabolic. Argument. Argument. A R G U M E N T. Argument. Disguise. Disguise. D I S G U I S E. Disguise. Pressure. Pressure. P R E S S U R E. Pressure. Treadmill. Treadmill. T R E. Stop. Pretty sure the last word you spelt correctly was pressure. Yes. Does it feel like that? Yeah, I was understanding the irony of it. Pronouncer, what was the last word? Treadmill. The correct spelling is T R E A D M I L L. Treadmill. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Harrison. Oh. Ten correct words in 43.94 seconds. You know what? You're at the top. Thank you very much. Nice work, Harrison. Take a seat. There's two spellers left to go. You need four correct words or more with a chance to be safe. Mika, you're next. Let's go. It's just getting a bit harder, mainly because the pressure really um, gets to you. But I've gotten a 10 before, so I know that 10's definitely achievable. Let's spell. Pronouncer. The word is turbojet. Turbojet. T-U-R-B-O-J-E-T. Turbojet. Pharmacy. Pharmacy. P-H-A-R-M-A-C-Y. Pharmacy. Majority. Majority. M-A-J-O-R-I-T-Y. Majority. Creditor. Creditor. C-R-E-D-I-T-O-R. Creditor. Marigold. Marigold. M-A-R-I-G-O-L-D. Marigold. Receiver. Receiver. R-E-C-E-I-V-E-R. -E -E Receiver. Carnival. Carnival. C-A-R-N-I-V-A-L. Carnival. Pastoral. Pastoral. P-A-S-T-O-R-A-L. Pastoral. Suppress. Suppress. S... Out of time. Mika. <laughs> really awesome run right up to that last word. Pronouncer, that last word. The word was suppress. The correct spelling, S-U-P-P-R-E-S-S. -S -S, suppress. What happened with the last word? I kind of had a bit of a mental blank and I, I just, um, I thought suppress. And then my thoughts kind of trailed away. We all have one of those every now and then. You ready to have a look at the leaderboard? Yeah. 
eight correct words. 36.64 seconds, Mika. You're in second place right now. Mika, well done. I'm hoping, hoping, hoping that eight will be enough to get me into the top two. Peyton, please come forward. <laughs> Speed is not a thing, but I'm going to try to beat Mika because, like, that means I'm straight into the finals. She can do it if she takes it. Let's spell, pronounce her, the first word. Renovate. Renovate. R-E-N-O-V-A-T-E. Renovate. Occupant. Occupant. O-C-C-U-P-A-N-T. Yes. Occupant. Regiment. Regiment. R-E-G-I-M-E-N-T. Regiment. Emphatic. Emphatic. E-M-P-H-A-T-I-C. Emphatic. She's halfway to close stuff. Category. C-A-T-E-G-O-R-Y. Category. Altitude. 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 A-L-T-I-T-U-D-E. Altitude. Bungalow. Bungalow. B-U-N-G-A-L-O-W. Bungalow. Sympathy. Sympathy. S-Y-M-P-A-T-H-Y. Sympathy. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Talk about save the best to last. I wonder how many words you've got. Are you ready to find out? Let's have a look at the leaderboard. Coming up, the word is portraiture. Can they bounce back? He's very unsure. Is it a guess? Yes. And make it to the finals. She is not confident. We're only looking for the top two spellers. If you're one of them, you're safe and straight through to the finals. I'm really, really worried. If Peyton gets an eight, she could beat me out of the top two. I wonder how many words you've got. Let's have a look at the leaderboard. Oh, oh seven correct words. That last word you just timed out on. So very close to the top two. Really well done. Okay. I was so close. I wish there's top three today because then I would have made it. Peyton, that was fantastic. So at the end of speed spelling, the two safe spellers are Harrison and Mika. Finalists in the Great Australian Spelling Bee for 2015. You can go and relax backstage. Put it there. Well done. Oh. Well done. It's annoying when you know the word and you spell it wrong. I think it's just because if you're rushing, you just make a silly mistake like that. I didn't do very well in speed spell, so I really want to be safe after flashcards. I am a good speller because I know lots of words and I can memorise them. I like to write stories and I like spelling interesting words and using them in my stories. I won my last second round of flashcards, so I'm really confident that I can win again. Imagine if you two are competing against each other flashcards. Yeah, that would be weird. Flashcards is one of my strengths I have Mita's handwriting in my class. When Hapiri is in the competition with me, I do feel really confident that you can get each word correct. She shares with me, she plays with me, and it's like good company for me. If he gets eliminated, if I get eliminated, it would be a bit scary. <laughs> So good luck, everyone. Good well. Just yeah. try your best, Dan. Yeah. High five. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> the next challenge is flashcards. That means all the words are from a special category, as you know. What category would you like today? Sports. Legal terms. Sports clothes. is great. Nah. Did you say clothes, Carl? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see if this helps you work it out. Feast your eyes on this. Oh, my gosh. That is real fire. It's the facts. What is that? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. This is way too dangerous for a spelling bee. Please remember that these are trained professionals. So, kids, do not try this at home. 
the circus. <gasps> I've had a marshmallow one time that was that hot, I swear to God. It was exactly like that. Oh. <laughs> When the category was revealed, I was pretty happy that it was arts and culture. And my name is Amelia, I'm nine years old and I live in Sunshine Coast. I really love music and drama and performing arts because I just love being creative and it's really, really fun. Now in flashcards, we need to get you into two groups, remember? So here's how we're going to do it. Get ready to catch. In each ball is a token. That will allocate what team you're going to be in. Good catch up it. <laughs> that was mine. <laughs> Squeeze the tennis ball to get your tokens out. A against A. All the twins are against one another. Oh, oh no. This is not supposed to be happening. I'm against my brother, like, seriously. Twin rivalry, like, is at stake here. Red team on this side, blue team on this side. Me and my brother have never played against each other before. It's going to be pretty interesting to find out who will win. Today, two rounds we're going to be playing. Winning spellers from the first round will spell again in the second round. Winners in the second round will then be safe. Ha Peter, ha Peith, please step forward. Test for me and my sister. Who's the better speller? Uh, Peter, you normally go pretty well at this particular challenge, don't you? Yes, I have actually never lost. But competing with my brother is just so weird. Do you think they're going to pull back on their competitiveness because they're twins or just go for it? They are very sporty of each other, but they did have a bit of a rivalry sometimes. I've, I've seen yeah. a few of these in the past. Yes. Yeah. It's going to be a really good showdown. Let's spell. Pronounce up. A word. Easel. A stand for holding a painting or drawing while the artist is working on it. Easel. Ready. Spell. Nice word. Same time. Harpeth, would you like to reveal your flashcard? That is correct. A pizza. Correct. The thing is, I reckon anything that Harpita will know or anything that Harpeet knows, the other will know, since they're twins. They've probably been studying together, yeah. hey, learning together. That's the thing. I think they might go to the tiebreaker. Pronouncer, the next word. Critique. That is correct. And the handwriting yes. looks exactly the same. It's almost like they're twins. They are twins. It's almost like. <laughs> Playwright. That is correct. Three hands in, we're both correct. It's a twin thing. Statuette. Spell. We have like special powers that just spread to each other. You are both correct. Panorama. Correct. Are you cheering because his was correct? I'm cheering because mine's the same. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. This is the sixth word, OK, spellers? If you both get this right or wrong, we go to a tiebreaker. Pronouncer, the next word. Portraiture. The art of painting or drawing the likeness of a person, especially depicting only the face. Portraiture. Ready? Spell. Five seconds. Time's up. He's very unsure. Oh, Peith, are you familiar with the word? Oh, no. Is it a guess then? She's not confident. Ah, she is not. 
you both have guessed. Harpeth, please reveal your flashcard to the pronouncer. That is incorrect. He just didn't get the R in. Uh, Peter, your turn. I really want to get this, but if I'm correct, my brother will be going through the final challenge. The word is portraiture. How faith? That is incorrect. Uh, Peter, your turn. Oh, wait, if Har Peter gets it wrong too, then I just keep going. I think it's incorrect. That is incorrect. incorrect. The correct spelling is P O R T R A I T U R E. Portraiture. Happy, it's like, okay, cool, I'm all right now. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, yeah. Oh my god, I didn't lose. Tiebreaker time. Dun, dun, dun. Well, it's still even after six rounds. So we're going to a tiebreak round. This time, the fastest will be verified first. Who's going to win this battle? We know the same amount of words, but we don't actually know, like, who's faster because we haven't even tested ourselves. Are we ready? Yep. Pronouncer, their tie-break word. The word is arabesque, a position in ballet in which one leg is stretched behind and the body lowered forward. Arabesque. Ready? Spell. <laughs> oh my god. A bit. Really, really fast. Harpeth was just marginally in front of Harpeter there and revealing his flashcard. Pronouncer. That is. Correct. <laughs> Ready to reveal yours? Yours would also have been correct. Really well done to both of you. Well, she's also sorry for herself and she's proud of you. Harpeth, you'll be in round two, young man. Well done. Congratulations. And Harpeter, over to the spell zone, all right? We'll be seeing you again very soon. Thank you. <laughs> Amelia, Carl, let's go. Graffiti. That is correct. Amelia, you're in the second round. Amanda and Anirud. Vaudeville. Correct. Anirud, well done. On to the next round we go. Peyton, Grace. Motif. Correct. Bad luck, Peyton. But I'm Grace, you're in the second round. Okay. Time for round two. In the second round, Amelia will be spelling against Harpeth and Grace, you'll be spelling against Anirud. Grace, Anirud, let's go. I'm going against quite a formidable opponent, Grace P, and I think we're both pretty evenly matched. We both really want to be in the final. I think that I can win this. I've won before. Let's spell. Pronouncer? The word is soliloquy. Talking to yourself when you are alone, as in a play, soliloquy. I don't know. Ready? Spell. Grace, tell me about that word. I don't know. It's not a word you've heard before? No. Annie Rudd? I'm really confident because I practice with this word with my dad. Actually, my dad taught my, that word to me, so I told him that one. Grace. Can you reveal your flashcard to the pronouncer, please? That is incorrect. 
you know what this means, Annie Rudd. If you get this right, you are in the top eight of the Great Australian Spelling Bee. Okay. Please show the pronouncer. That is... Correct. Oh. Annie Rudd, you have done it. You are in the top eight. I have made it into the finals. Grace, you're still in this, OK? We're going to see you in the next round. I really wanted to win it, but I've gotten through in the spelling bee before. I'm pretty sure I can get through again. Apeith and Amelia, let's go. I've never gotten something wrong with flashcards before, so I don't want to start now. <laughs> now remember, only one of you can spell your way to safety and that guaranteed place in the finals. Pronouncer. The word is premiere. The first time something is shown or done. Premiere. Ready? Spell. Nervous. Yeah, Amelia's not sure. Arpith, please reveal yours to the pronouncer. That is incorrect. <sighs> so, Amelia, if you have got this right, you are straight through to the finals. Please show your flashcard to the pronouncer. That is correct. Very well done, Amelia. You are in the top eight of the Great Australian Spelling Bee. It's time for you to head backstage and celebrate right now, Amelia. Great job. Which means, Happy, we'll see you in the next challenge. I was being very disappointed about myself, but. I need to spell tough words in the spelling bee and try to be in the top eight and not go home. How are you feeling, Carl? You ready for this? Yeah. The elimination rounds are always the most pressuring because anyone could go home. Four people out of the six go home. It's if four people before me get it wrong, then I have to get it right. I think what makes me worry the most is that the words are getting really, really hard and they're really, really long, and I'm thinking that it's going to be really difficult to get through now. Good luck, champ. Yeah. Mummy and Daddy are so proud of you. Yeah. And I promise I won't cry. Okay. Unless it's happy. Happy, kids. yeah. <laughs> Come on, that's the stand. That's Do your best, best yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Whatever happens, remember, do your best. Remember, you guys are in top two. Be proud of that. Be very, very proud of that. You've got it inside of you. I love you. Do your best and just be you, OK? I'll be here cheering you on, OK? All right, everyone, it is time to spell last cuddles. Do the best you can do and have fun. The stakes are getting much higher. The competition is getting much stronger. Puppy, go, Peyton. All of the people here now are the best of the best. Amanda, go, girl. So, oh, wow, this is tough. I want to do very, very well because like, that means I'm straight into the finals. Coming up... I'm really worried. Four will go home. Sonorous. Aerosol. And two will make it to the finals. Catalyst. Correct. <laughs> Toponym. Can you please repeat the word? Who will it be? Papita's panicking. I was a bit nervous. I want to be safe in the spelling bee because 
I really want to go to the, into the top eight and see if I can go like to the grand final. Welcome back. Today we're looking for the top two spellers, okay? Which means unfortunately four of you will be leaving the great Australian spelling bee. The stakes are getting higher and the spelling is getting harder. Keep spelling correctly and you'll be safe. Peyton, you're first. <laughs> Let's spell Peyton. Come on, Peyton. Pronounce it. The first word. The word has two pronunciations. Bouquet or bouquet. Bouquet. B-O-U-Q-U-E-T. Bouquet. That is... Correct. That's really going to bring her up. Going very well, Peyton. Take a seat. Amanda. Amanda. Let's spell. Pronounce the next word. The word is... Sonorous. Can I please have the definition? Sounding deep, loud and rich. Sonorous. Can I please have the origin? The origin is Latin. I had never heard the word before, ever in my life. I was a little bit worried because there was a chance I was going home. Sonorous. S-O-N-E-R-O-U-S. -E Sonorous. That is... incorrect. The correct spelling is S O N O. R-O-U-S, sonorous. All right, this requires you to now take a seat. However, if one more speller gets their word right, that's the end of your time in the competition, OK? Grace, your turn. So what are you thinking right now? I'm really worried because I don't want to get it wrong and then someone else will get it right and then we will both go. OK, just try your best. You never know how amazing the outcome might be as long as you try. I was worried. Grace P is a good speller, like a very, very good speller. The word has two pronunciations. Tsunami or tsunami. Tsunami. T-S-U-N-A-M-I, Tsunami. That is... Correct. Yeah. Yes. Grace, take a seat. Congratulations. Amanda. We have seen some wonderful spelling from you from your time in the Great Australian Spelling Bee. It's been so fantastic having you with us here. Yeah, it's been but great I'm to be here. <laughs> Time to say goodbye to your friends, Amanda. See ya. Let's hear it for Amanda. I felt sad that I'm leaving, but I was proud that I'd gotten this far. We did so well. Ah, Peter, your turn. She is mad for a traditional spelling bee. <laughs> this is her time to shine. 
Uh, Peter, you get this right, you're still in with a chance, OK, of making the top eight. You get it wrong, that's the end of your time in the competition, OK? Let's spell. Pronouncer, the next word. The word is... Catalyst. Catalyst. May I please have the definition? Something that causes a change or a reaction. Catalyst. Catalyst. C-A-T-A-L-Y-S-T. Catalyst. That is... Correct. Right. Well, that was a good word for you. Take a seat. Well done. You're still in this. Harpeth, please come forward. Harpeth, get this right. You remain the chance, OK, of making the top eight. You get it wrong, that's the end of your time in the competition, OK? Yeah. Let's spell. The word is toponym. Can I please have the definition? The name by which a place is known. Toponym. Can you please repeat the word? Toponym. Peter's panicking. Can I please have the definition? The name by which a place is known. Toponym. Can you please repeat the word? Toponym. Peter's panicking. Toponym. T-O-P-O. I don't overthink it. P. O. And I am toponym. That is incorrect. The correct spelling is T O P O N Y M, toponym. So close. Harpeth, we're looking for the top two correct spellers. Obviously, in this room, we've had three right so far. You know what that means? Unfortunately, that's the end of your time in this oh, in the show. Thank you so much for spending it with us. You're one of the top spellers in Australia, and it was awesome watching you at work. All right, we're proud of you. Thank you so much for being a part of the Great Australian Spelling Bee. Let's hear it for Harpeet. It's all day, the same word. word. Even though I'm not spelling anymore, I was like feeling so proud of myself. I've passed all the stages into the top 12, so that's all that matters, and I'm still a great speller. Very happy, proud of you. Right? Yeah. You made it to top 12. Okay. Yeah. I knew he was out for the competition, but I wanted to make sure I'd make him proud in the finals and try my best. Carl, your turn. Let's go. The word is aerosol. Aerosol. Can I please have the part of speech? It is a noun. Aerosol. A E R O S O L. Aerosol. That is.
wrecked. You got it, Carl. We've got a great battle on our hands right now. Take a seat. This battle continues. OK, another round. We are looking for the top two spellers. Two of you will be safe and we'll be going on to our top eight. Two of you will be leaving the competition. Peyton. I want to make sure I keep getting words correct so much because finance is just so important to me. Let's spell. Pronounce it Peyton's next word. The word is... Reminiscent. Reminiscent. R E M. It's all these tricky vowels. E N I S C E N T. Reminiscent. That is... Incorrect. Oh. The correct spelling is R-E-M-I-N-I-S-C-E-N-T. Reminiscent. Hayden, you still have a chance, OK? So let's take a seat and we'll see how this goes. <laughs> right. The word is pandemonium. Pandemonium. Could I please have the definition? Wild and noisy confusion. Pandemonium. Pandemonium. P A N D O M O I-U-M, pandemonium. That is... incorrect. The correct spelling is P-A-N-D-E-M-O-N-I-U-M, pandemonium. Not out of it yet. OK, Grace, please take a seat. Let's go, huh, Peter? You get this right, you have secured your place in the top eight of the Great Australian Spelling Bee. Good luck. Let's spell. Pronouncer, huh, Peter's next word. The word is... Jurisdiction. Jurisdiction. Could I please have the definition? The authority to make a judgment. Jurisdiction. Jurisdiction. J U R I S D I C T I O N. Jurisdiction. That is... Correct. Oh, wow. oh, my God, well done. Uh, Peter, with that amazing performance right there, you have made it through to our top eight. <laughs> yes! <laughs> All that hard work has paid off. Right now, how are you feeling? I'm feeling really proud of myself. I had a little bit of nervous feeling and a little bit of confidence, but I guess that my confidence conquered my nervous feeling. I sure did. Really well done. We're so proud of you. Time for you to stand next to Carl right now for just a moment to see how the rest of our spellers go. Carl. If you get this word correct, 
you'll be joining Harpeter in the top eight. Grace and Peyton will no longer be a part of the competition. You ready? Yep. Please come forward. Come on, Carl. Let's spell. Pronounce her the next word. The word is... Unaccustomed. Unaccustomed. Can you please repeat the word? Unaccustomed. Unaccustomed I'd heard once before, but it was one of those tricky double letter words. Grace and Peyton will no longer be a part of the competition. Unaccustomed. U N N A C U S T O M E D. Unaccustomed. That is. The correct spelling is U-N-A-C-C-U-S-T-O-M-E-D. Unaccustomed. OK, you know what? That throws a lifeline to both Peyton and Grace. We're all going to spell again. So please take a seat. Oh, my God. Thank goodness it's another round. Peyton, let's go. Come on, baby. The word is... Abalone. Abalone. A B A L O N E. Abalone. So anything to do with nature, animals, oh, that's science. Her speciality. Yeah. I love it. That is correct. Yay! I knew that word. How did you know that word? I read it in a dictionary, of course. <laughs> Take a seat, nice. Grace, your turn. You get this right, you stay in the competition. You get this wrong, unfortunately, it's the end. Okay? Okay. Let's spell. The word is Odyssey. Odyssey. O D E S S Y. Odyssey. That is incorrect. The correct spelling is O D Y S S E Y. Odyssey. Grace, we've loved having you in the competition. You've inspired us all with your smile and your presence and your attitude of fun that you've brought here to the Great Australian Spelling Bee. Time to say goodbye to your friends and thank you so much for being a part of the Great Australian Spelling Bee. Get behind her, guys. You say goodbye. You've been an awesome friend. I'll submit my magazine. Get on you, Grace. The best thing I learnt was that just never give up. No you might not win, but you've done something in yourself that makes you feel really good. This is the moment of truth for you, Carl. Let's go. Get it right, you stay in with the chance. Get it wrong, unfortunately, your time in the Great Australian Spelling Bee will come to an end. The word is... Rococo. Could you please repeat the word? Rococo. Oh, can I please have the definition? 
a style of art and architecture of the 18th century, which used ornate scrolls and curves, rococo. Rococo. R-E-C-O-C-O, -C -O -C -O, rococo. That is... Incorrect. The correct spelling is R O C O C O Rococo. Carl, you have been a sensation on this show. We've watched you blossom as a speller and as a young man. We've loved your bow ties and the colour and the fun and the chats that we've had. Along the way, have you enjoyed your time here? Yep, definitely. Man, I'm glad you had the best time. It's time to say goodbye to your friends though right now, okay? So thank you so much for being a part of the Great Australian Spelling Bee Cup. Sensational. Good on you, Carl. We've loved having you, mate. Congratulations, gorgeous. Oh, oh, oh. Peyton and Hump Peter, you are officially in the top eight. I'm in finals week. I'm just so excited. Oh, my goodness. I'm ready to do this. I'm going to try my best. Let's bring it on. Time to head home. Celebrate, get some rest. We're going to see you back very soon in the Great Australian Spelling Bee Final. Next time on the Great Australian Spelling Bee, this is their last chance. I'm going to make it into that grand final. Finals week is here. One of you will be the Great Australian Spelling Bee champion for 2015. <laughs> and there's a buzz in the air. What's that noise? Bee! Oh, the pinatas. Oh. I hit the pinata. I just went swing, swing. I had to hit it a couple of times. Who will fall short? Necessities. Pronouncer. Incorrect. Oh, no. And who will make it to the grand final? Fortuitous. Correct. Spell this correctly. You will be through to the grand final.